An earthquake in Indonesia began in 1829 and lasted a mighty 32 years. It reached its climax in 1861 and hit a magnitude of around 8.5. It was caused by the tectonic plates below the island slowly clashing against each other. Researchers discovered that the quake had been building for some time after analyzing the coral in the area. They found it was being periodically exposed to the open air. That was caused by the gradual earthquake moving the land up and down. Scientists call these decades-long silent earthquakes slow slip events. A single lightning bolt can warm the air to around 54,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat makes the air expand quickly, creating a shock wave or boom which we know to be thunder. There are close to 3 trillion trees on Earth. That translates to roughly around 422 trees for every person. Before humans, the number was nearer to 6 trillion. Almost 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by water, which on average is around 2.5 miles deep. 97% of Earth's volcanoes lie underwater. As well as the Mid-Ocean Ridge, a massive mountain range that is over 40,000 miles long. Humans have mined around 190,000 tons of gold from the planet. Experts predict there is around 20% still left to be mined, but this figure is constantly changing. The world's largest active volcano is in Hawaii. Called Mauna Loa, it's over 2.5 miles above sea level. Given that most of it is underwater, the volcano's summit is a staggering 11 miles from its base. That's the same length as over 160 football fields. The highest ever recorded temperature on Earth was a sweltering 136 degrees Fahrenheit. It was recorded in El Azizia, or modern-day Libya, on September 13, 1922. The lowest temperature was a chilling minus 129 degrees Fahrenheit, recorded at Russia's Vostok station in 1983. Earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system, behind Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. It has a circumference of roughly 25,000 miles, and it would take the average person around 8,300 hours to walk around the face of the Earth. The separation between Earth's land masses would make such a trek almost impossible, though. It takes 365.25 days for the Earth to orbit the Sun. Because our calendar years only have 365 days, we add an extra leap day every four years to make up for the difference. Russia is the largest country on the planet, with a total area of about 6.5 million square miles. It encompasses more than one-eighth of the Earth's inhabited land area, but still has a relatively small population given its size. Earth is the only planet with one moon. Mercury and Venus have no moons, while every other planet has two or more. Earth is over 4 billion years old. Scientists calculate this by looking at the planet's oldest rocks, as well as meteorites that have crash-landed. They used meteorites as they were formed at the same time as Earth, when the solar system was forming. The ground we walk on is basically recycled. The planet's rock cycle turns igneous rocks to sedimentary ones, then transforms those into metamorphic rocks and back again. Like Earth, our Moon also experiences earthquakes. They're less common and intense than the ones we have and are caused by tidal stresses. A tidal stress is basically the relationship between the gravitational pull of the Moon on the Earth and that of the Earth on the Moon. Despite being the fifth largest continent, Antarctica holds 70% of the planet's fresh water and about 90% of its ice. Bangkok is the most visited city in the world, boasting 23 million visitors in 2019 alone. Paris, London, Dubai, and Singapore make up the other cities in the top five. The lowest layer of Earth's atmosphere is called the troposphere and is the reason we have weather. Sunlight heats the planet's surface, which causes warm air to rise up to the troposphere. This air then expands and cools as the air pressure decreases and sinks down where it is then warmed by the Earth again. Coral reefs are the largest living structures on the planet, with some even being visible from space. 
Coral reefs hold the most species per area of any of Earth's ecosystems, even more than rainforests. Earth got its name around 1,000 years ago, and it comes from the German word meaning the ground. But there's no evidence to show who actually named it. Of all the planets, Earth is also the only one which is not named after a Greek or Roman deity. The deepest point of the ocean is the Mariana Trench. It's a whopping 7 miles below sea level. Coastlines cover about 20% of U.S. land, but are home to more than 50% of the U.S. population. The Earth isn't actually a sphere. It's more like a squished ball that bulges at the equator. The bulge is caused by the force of the Earth spinning, which makes the North and South Poles slightly flat. The Earth spins on its axis, which is basically an imaginary straight line. Earth has seasons because the axis is tilted, causing the sun's rays to hit different parts of the planet more directly, depending on the time of year. If the sun was as tall as a standard door, the Earth would be around the size of a nickel. The Earth's rate of rotation is gradually decreasing. It's happening so slowly that it would take as much as 140 million years for the length of a day to increase to 25 hours. Get equipped for any season with brand new Brightside merch. Click the link and grab your print. The biggest animal on Earth is the Antarctic blue whale. It can reach lengths of 100 feet and weigh up to 400,000 pounds, which is around the same as 33 elephants. The temperature at the center of the Earth is around the same as the surface of the Sun, at almost 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Earth is around 10,000 times older than humans. Earth is around 4.5 billion years old, whereas humans have been around for, at most, 450,000 years. There are around 34,000 known species of fish. The actual number is way higher, though, as a whopping 95% of our oceans still haven't been explored. America's Route 66 is longer than the journey to the Earth's core. The distance to the core is roughly 2,000 miles. Route 66 is almost 2,500 miles. The Earth is made up of three main components, the crust, the mantle, and the core, which is divided into the outer core and the inner core. Scientists have estimated that there are around 8.7 million species on the planet. Out of this, between 1 to 2 million of these species are animals. But roughly 86% of land species and 91% of fish have yet to be discovered by humans. Ancient astronomers used to think that the Earth was the center of the universe. For 2,000 years, they believed the Earth to be static, while other bodies traveled in orbit around us. In 1543, Copernicus published his sun-centered model of the solar system. Earth is the densest planet in the solar system. The density varies across its different crusts, but the planet's average density is just over 3 ounces per cubic inch. Mount Everest is the highest point on the planet. Its peak is the highest altitude above sea level, at around 5.5 miles. Each year, one septillion crystals of snow fall on Earth. That's a trillion trillion snowflakes. Snow covers about 31% of Earth's land area each year. Of Earth's water, only around 3% is fresh water. The other 97% is salted. Of that 3%, about 2% is frozen in ice and glaciers. So, less than 1% of the planet's fresh water is actually in lakes, rivers, and underground. The world's largest inland body of water, or lake to us normal people, is the Caspian Sea. It has an area of 140,000 miles squared. The world's deepest lake is Lake Baikal in Russia and is 5,300 feet deep. Earth's atmosphere is roughly 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen, with small amounts of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other gases. No other planet is believed to have this much oxygen, which explains why Earth is the only planet where life has been discovered so far. Apart from the Moon, there are two asteroids in co-orbital orbits with Earth, sometimes called Earth's second moon. 3753 Kruthni is an asteroid that looks like it's following the Earth in orbit, but it's actually following its own path around the Sun. 2002 AA29 is another asteroid which makes a horseshoe orbit around the Earth, 
that draws it close to the planet every 95 years.